Hey guys, my name is Ryland Blackington and I play guitar for a Cobra Starship. I'm here right now in West Palm Beach, Florida, sitting in the back of a van in the middle of the Honda Civic Tour with Fall Out Boy Plus 44, The Academy Is, and uh, Paul Wall, and us, Cobra Starship. That's what the kids really came out here to see, you know? But uh, I'm pretty stoked because I just got uh, Hagstrom Viking Deluxe. It's a, a new guitar to add to my my arsenal, if you will, and it's uh, it's really helped out my tone on this tour, especially. We're playing arenas, we're playing amphitheaters, we're playing huge, huge, you know, stadiums and things. I needed something that had a richer tone, a beefier tone, a little bit fuller. Uh, the Stratocaster that I was playing, great sound, but single coil wasn't doing it. I plugged in the Deluxe, the Viking. I have much more beefier distortion tones now for our, our harder songs, and uh, and especially, check this out. Look at these mitts, okay? These are big hands. Most guitars, I choke them, I kill them, I strangle them. This here, we got a nice wide neck, but not too beefy, it's nice and shallow. It feels perfect for my hand, it feels really nice. I'm able to slide up and down very easily. Double cutaway, you can reach all those, uh, all those frets up there for you shredders out there. And, um, and, uh, and if you want to learn more about Cobra Starship, you can go to our website at www.cobrastarship.com or check us out on MySpace at myspace.com slash Cobra Starship. Stay golden. Hello. I'm Cameron. I play with a band called The Sleeping. I play a pretty sick axe. And you know what axe that is? It's the Hagstrom. Hagstrom Swede. If you don't have one, you're just not cool. I like mine because, you know why? Because it plays better than Gibson. It plays better than everything that I've ever played before. It's got that EQ cutoff switch. It's a dream. And you know what? If you don't play Hagstrom, then you're just not cool, all right? You have to visit our, us on our website. It's called uh, thesleeping.com. Please check out Hagstrom. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Take it from me. Look at me. Am I lying? No. Look at me. Keep looking. Now what do you think? Yeah, exactly. I'm not lying. Hagstrom, do it. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name's Mike. I play guitar in the starting line. I recently discovered Hagstrom guitars after playing Les Pauls for quite a few years, and I was blown away at, uh, at how full and, and great they sounded. I didn't think another guitar could sound as good, if not better, than, than a Les Paul until I found Hagstrom. And uh, it's just, I spent a lot of time uh, trying to trying to get my my tones through like different amps and different guitars, and, and Hagstrom just just blew me away. And, and especially for the price, I couldn't believe how inexpensive they are compared to like uh, Les Pauls and, and whatnot. So um, I highly recommend them. Uh, go play them at a store. Go check them out. And uh, that's about it. If you want to know more about uh, the Starting Line, you can check us out at uh, myspace.com backslash the Starting Line or startinglinerock.com. Hello, goodbye here at the uh, Fillmore in Miami Beach, Florida, and uh, I'm just going to take a minute here to walk you through my rig and my setup and show you what I've been playing. Over here we got uh, my Hagstrom, my F200's not here today. This is one of Forrest Hagstrom's. Uh, we've been playing Hagstrom's for a little over a year now. Uh, I liked it as opposed to, uh, you know, I was used to playing like Telecasters and stuff like that. I liked it uh, as a dirtier sound, gets a better distortion sound through my amp uh, when I was playing songs like that. Forrest has got two hollow bodies that are real nice. Uh, I mean, obviously I've played on his and stuff. Uh, hey, this is Jesse from Hello Goodbye. Just want to recommend if you're trying to get away from uh, what you're used to with uh, your Telecasters and things like that, maybe want to try out a Hagstrom. I like them when they get dirty. <laughs> Hey, uh, this is Forrest from Hell Goodbye. We're at the Fillmore in Miami. Gonna play a show. Um, and uh, 
I'm going to be playing mostly Hags from Guitars, because uh, once I got them, they were just my most used guitars out of the guitars I have. Um, I like the Hagstroms that I have, because uh, right when I picked them up, they were instantly just super playable, super comfortable, felt perfect, didn't have to set them up. Um, the tones that I can get out of them is super versatile. I'll, I'll use them on like, obviously I have, I have some hollow bodies, so I'll use them on songs that are kind of more textured. Um, but I'll, I'll even use them on more of the high gain songs and they just add a perfect character to it. Um, I have a, a Viking and an HJ and, and I like to use both of them. I uh, use the HJ on, on the softer ones usually. Um, Anyways, you can uh, you can check out our website hologoodbye.net and uh, use hacks from guitars. Hi, my name is Kenya Baker. I'm the guitar player for Jaw Stone. I'm presently in uh, Sydney, Australia, at Soundcheck, and I'm holding here a Hagstrom guitar. Um, this is the F300. Uh, slightly resembles a. Uh, you would say like a Stratocaster look. Um, this is a really nice guitar. I love it. Uh, I love playing it. I play it every night on the shows. Um, fast action, a really nice, comfortable feel, feeling neck. Um, nice tuning pegs. I never have slippage out of the tuning pegs. Um, very well put together guitar. For the price, you can't beat this guitar. Um, I think it would be very advantageous for you to go and check one out yourself. My name is Kenya. Take care. Peace. Hi, this is Tim Nordwin from the band OK Go. Uh, I play bass in the band. Um, and I have played on Hagstrom basses now uh, for about three or four years. Um, I originally came to play Hagstrom uh, when we went to record our second record, Oh No, in Malmo, Sweden. And Sweden is obviously where uh, the Hagstrom company comes from and I our producer Tori Johansson wanted to know uh, our list of equipment going to Sweden and when I sent him everything I had he told me to leave everything at home and that I would only play Hagstrom because uh, he has a really insane and awesome collection of Hagstrom basses and guitars um, so when we got to Sweden we obviously we played I played everything on Hagstrom bass uh, there are Hagstrom guitars all over the record uh, that sound amazing um, and uh, and when I came back to the States I immediately went and got um, two Hagstrom basses for myself uh, that I've played on stage every night uh, since we started uh, promoting this record um, and uh, I I've never heard a bass sound better than a Hagstrom, um, and uh, that definitely goes for a lot of the guitars too, um, especially like the, the Viking guitars sound amazing, um, and if you listen close enough, you can hear them on our records. Hey, I'm Joe Morrow from the early November, and uh, I play Hagstrom guitars, and I want to tell you a bit about them. This is our guitar rack, and as you can see, we have three lined up. Um, here are mine. I play the Deluxe F, which um, is, is really perfect for uh, pretty much it's really versatile guitar for anything. I use it for a lot of our more folk sounding tunes, um, even some of our more like overdrived rock stuff and the clean's really great. For the heavier songs where we got to get a little tougher, I like to use my my Swede right here and this one uh, sounds really tough and has a lot of has a lot of balls. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> um, and uh, for a long time I didn't think, uh, you know, I used one guitar and never really thought anything felt as good or or you know even even better until I played a uh, we got to try the Hagstroms and it instantly felt great in the first live show. It's the perfect combination of weight it's, it's not very heavy, it doesn't feel like a toy as well though, and it, the neck is extremely fast and smooth and everything about the guitar just feels great. So, third guitar is the one our lead singer Ace uses, and it's the Viking. He uses this for, uh, for a lot, of, yesterday he used it for the entire set, so, um, 
He really loves this guitar. It's a nice, cool jazz guitar and a good blues guitar. And it sounds good really doing anything, so. What's up? I'm Ace from the early November. How you doing? I love my Hagstrom guitar for every single reason. One, being the way it looks, my favorite. Two, feels great. And three, the tone. It sounds very beautiful coming through my super amp. Anyway, um, check out the early November at theearlynovember.com, whatever. We play Hagstroms. We love them. Sick. Awesome. My name is Mike Scott. I'm the guitarist with Justin Timberlake and previous guitarist with Prince and the NPG and also a Hagstrom endorser. I play the Hagstrom D2F, the Viking, and the Swede guitar, which are all great guitars. The action is wonderful on them. The tones you get from the guitars are hot. The lead tones are screaming. There's nothing more you can say. The workmanship on Hagstrom is a great, great workmanship. If you don't have one, you need to get one. As you see from this one, it's got the single F hole. The action is great. Great workmanship. The uh, ivory there, the mother of pearl. It's a great guitar. If you don't have one, you need to get one. If you need to uh, find out more information about me and Hagstrom, you can go to myspace.com. I am Mike Scott. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Phil Stacy from American Idol Season 6. I'm on the road right now with American Idol Live Tour. I uh, picked up a Hagstrom guitar, a Swede. Um, the playability is just amazing. Uh, I've been doing some uh, some demo work for upcoming songs for my album that's coming out. Uh, just, just absolutely love the guitar. I think it's amazing design. It's beautiful looking. The playability factor is just wonderful and it sounds phenomenal uh, through just about everything I've played it through. So, so thank you very much. Uh, love your guitars, Hagstrom.